guys welcome back to techdoors and in this video we will look at construct binary tree from pre order and post order traversal which is from lead code number 889 let's now read the problem statement in this problem given two integer arrays pre order and post order where pre order is the pre order traversal of a binary tree of distinct values and post order is the post order traversal of the same tree reconstruct and return the binary tree if there exist multiple answers you can return any of them now if you look at the first example then in this case this is the tree that we want to build and uh, in this particular case you are given the pre order and the post order right so using this pre order and post order you have to actually construct and return the root node so i think you must be knowing that in pre order whenever you reach a root node for the first time or any node for the first time you just print it and if you uh, see the post order then you have to reach the node for the third time before you print it right so if you are a beginner in this then i will share you a video link which you can watch which will be uh, saying about how to find the pre order and post order as well as in order in the simplest way possible for a binary tree now the constraints in this case which are important is pre order length is only from 1 to 30 so very small constraint all the values of pre order are unique all the values of the post order are unique and it is guaranteed that the pre order and post order are the pre and post of the same binary tree so the answer will always exist there wouldn't be a case where the answer do not exist right now let's look at some observation which will help us optimize our solution if the question was about structurally unique binary tree then in that case we needed either of pre order or post order where we can get the exact root node and an in order which will tell us about given the root node what will be the left partition and the right partition okay so you cannot make structurally unique binary tree unless and until you have in order plus one of these pre order or post order but if pre order and post order are given you cannot create structurally unique binary tree and that is why the problem mentions that there may be multiple answers because for a given pre order and post order of the same tree you can actually have multiple ways to represent it now just to show you an example you can look at here pre order and post order uh, you can say 1 2 3 and 3 to 1 if you look at this tree 1 and you try to do pre order it will be 1 to 3 and if you do post order it will be 3 to 1 right if you look at the second tree which is structurally different it will be giving you pre order as 1 to 3 and the post order as 3 to 1 so both these trees are structurally different but they both have the same pre order and post order right so you have multiple answers you can return any of them that means you can build any of this tree this is observation 1 in the second observation if you look at uh, this tree let's say this is the tree from where the pre order and post order was built now if you try to do traversal then i can start with the current node at this root 1 right at this one and how do you know that this one is the root node because this is the first node of pre order or you can say it is the last node of the post order right so let's say that it is first node of pre order that is why it is a root node now since it is root node i will immediately be making it and i will make go to the left side so i'll increase the pre index to 2 now i check it again okay i i can make a new node and this is 2 again i'll go to the left hand side i'm just doing traversal right so if you traverse it you reach to 4 now when you reach to a node which is actually a leaf node then at that particular time reaching for the first time or reaching for the second time or third time like this if you reach here for the first time or second time or third time it does not even matter like it is the same so that is why you will see that the pre index and the post index value will be equal and this can only happen if you are moving the pre index forward whenever you reach the node for the first time and as soon as the pre index and post index are same then you just uh, make this node and move forward in both because reaching for the first time and third time at the leaf node is the same okay now once you have moved then what will happen in this case you will be going back to 2 who was the caller and again making the next call which will be 5 so 5 is the next in pre order and this and in this case as well this 5 and 5 are same because they are leaf node okay so you can just make it and you can just move forward in both the indices right and after this you will be reaching to this two for the third time now whenever you reach a node for the third time then you will be moving the post index right because you are doing post order traversal one is been reached for the second time so node change will happen for 3 and 6 now make a right call 
सो दिस इज थ्री मूव इट फॉरवर्ड मेक अ लेफ्ट कॉल दिस इज सिक्स राइट नाउ इफ यू लुक एट दिस टू सिक्सेज दे आर सेम दैट मीन्स दे आर लीव नोड सो मूव फॉरवर्ड इन बोथ एंड देन वंस यू वंस यू गो बैक फ्रॉम दिस एंड मेक द राइट कॉल देन इन दिस केस अगेन सेवन एंड सेवन आर सेम दैट मीन्स दे आर द लीव नोड सो मूव फॉरवर्ड इन बोथ and then when you go back to 3 you have reached 3 for the third time so move forward because we are doing post order traversal using the post index right when you reach 1 for the third time move forward because you have reached 1 for the third time right so using this traversal technique actually you can build a new tree i'll just show you in a while but you can build a new tree in this case the things that we do is whenever we reach to the node we will be building a new node and we will be moving forward in the pre order and if the pre order and post order have the same value then we will be moving forward in both because it is a leaf node and when i reach to a node for the third time after having processed the left subtree and right subtree then i will be moving the post index forward so i think this point is clear now let's look at a dry run i will just name it as 1 3 traversal because the first time we reach to a node it is the pre order the third time we reach to a node in traversal it is the post order right and i will be solving it using recursion so as i said the pre order and post order will be given in the input and we will be taking the pre index and post index right which are actually the current position pointers in both the pre and post now let's try to make uh, the tree i have given you the reference tree from where this pre and post was actually made so that it is easier to for you to understand now when you are seeing the pre index you just make it as it is right you just make it and whenever you make a node by the way by default your left and right pointer will be set to null now you check if pre and post values are matching they are not matching otherwise i will be skipping both of them right so if they are not matching just move the pre index forward okay and then make a left call when you make a left call again you will be making a new node here with two and it will have both the pointers as null now check the pre index and post index they are not the same that means i can make further left call right so you move forward to four and make further left call and this will be four right so when you make it then both the left and right pointers will be null now you compare this pre index with the post index they are the same so that means you move forward in both of them it it was a leaf node okay now once you move forward then that means you will be returning back so when you return back to this two since i have uh, done processing of the left side i'll be making the right call so when i make the right call then i will make a new node here because we haven't gone out of bound definitely so i'll be making a new node with left and right pointer as null now check the pre index and post index value they are same that means this node is a leaf node and i will be backtracking but before doing that definitely i will be moving it to the left index for both of them right now when you go back to two you are reaching here for the third time having processed the left and the right side that means the left and right subtree so move the post index forward again when you reach to one you are reaching here for the second time not the third time okay so you will make the right call and make a new node of 3 okay make a new node of 3 and in this case when you have made it compare this 3 and 6 if they are same then move forward in both if they are not same just move forward in one and make the left call okay when you make the left call see this it is 6 right so 6 will be made and compare this pre and post index so they are same so move forward in both of them right once you come back to this 3 because you will be backtracking because it is a leaf node right you will make the right call and you make a new node here which is 7 right it is 7 so both the null pointers will be assigned now you check the pre and the post index they are same that means they are the leaf nodes right 7 and 7 are leaf nodes so you will be backtracking you will move forward in both of them now you have reached 3 for the third time okay so that means you will just be moving in the post index and you will be backtracking to one now you are reaching one for the third time so you will be moving the post index and that's it and this is the traversal technique that you can use in order to build the binary tree and get one possible unique answer isn't it now in this case we are traversing the entire tree exactly one time that means you can say each node has been traversed three times but three times of n will be order of n therefore the time complexity will be order of n while the space complexity can be considered to be order of n because you can have a skewed tree right where the depth of the recursion call can go to order of n 
I hope it is clear. Let's now look at the code. If you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months, then we have brought for you both the DSA and the system design live interview training program. The most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one on one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number in this code you can see we are given the pre order and the post order and i will be just creating a new node out of it and once i am creating a new node that means it will be assigning certain value to the node and the left and the right pointer will be set to null after this i will be moving my pre index forward then i will check if the current value and the post order value are not the same then make a left call that means it is not the leaf node then make the left call otherwise why will you go down from a leaf node it is not creating any node right make the left call again when you come back then the second condition has to be checked again it should not be a leaf node right the current node should not be a leaf node and then you can also make the right call so simply this is the thing that i had explained you making the left call and right call building the tree and assigning the current's left equals to whatever is the return value in the return value we will be uh, returning the nodes reference and you can just make it point to current's left and after having processed both the left subtree and the right subtree you you can just increment the post index right and once you are done with everything you return back the current node so that if there is a caller to that node then it can make it point to the current node and this is how you will be connecting all the nodes in a tree so this is the simple code and i hope it is clear if you still have any doubt then feel free to comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video see you guys in the next video thank you